I just got to the grocery store. We are at Whole Foods and I wanna take you guys through more of the thought process behind my grocery trips and like what I'm eating, what I'm making. So let's go through. I honestly don't even have like a big set game plan or list, just vibes. Let's see what I'm craving and I'm gonna explain kind of my thought process when I go grocery shopping. Okay, I thought I would take you guys through kind of like what goes on in my mind when I grocery shop. So sometimes I like to shop with a list. Most of the time I don't, unless there's like specific things I need to get for a specific recipe. But today I was just like, you know what, let's go in and see what I'm feeling. So I always start with the produce and I always try to get a decent amount of fresh produce, not too much to the point where I know it'll go bad, but I like to buy produce that I know can be my staples. So like some mixed greens, cucumber, I always eat with hummus, um, a couple of fruits, some apples, berries, like some things that I can have on hand for a quick, healthy, easy snack and a few things that I can throw together in meals. I also like to think about what I'm gonna get for my protein. So for today, I got salmon, eggs. I really am liking uh, organic cottage cheese and Greek yogurt lately for some extra protein as well. I also am not afraid to grab things from the freezer, getting some frozen fruit or some frozen veggies also is really convenient to have. And you can cook them the same way that you do fresh veggies. Bone broth is so good for your gut. And I also like to get some beans for some protein as well. And then some other small things. I was gonna make a recipe, so I had to get some baking stuff, some dandelion tea, and some sauces. And yeah, that was it. I overall have kind of like my staples that I know I always get and some meals I know I'm always gonna make. So for example, like eggs with tortillas or buffalo chickpeas I make a lot with some greens and then, you know, some staples, easy, easy things to have on hand. So I always kind of think about the staple meals I'm gonna make and then maybe get a few other things that I wanna make that I know might be like a little bit different for that week. You'll see some of the recipes in the rest of this video. So let's get into it. Miss me dropping the eggs, not as I walked right <laughs> outside the grocery store. I literally was leaving and then my whole carton of eggs dropped and broke and this nice woman came up and helped me. She was like, no, not the one thing. That would be the one thing to break, you know. Anyways, besides that, it was a successful grocery run. I feel so much better that I got food. I literally hate when I don't have groceries at home, especially on really busy days like today. I have a ton of meetings. So I feel like I need just quick and easy food on hand. And it doesn't have to be that complicated. Honestly, guys, like I feel like I used to be so held back by the idea that like, oh, eating healthy is so hard or complicated or expensive or takes so much time. And it really doesn't. Like sometimes it takes me more time to figure out what I'm eating if I'm eating out or picking up something and like just having a few staples and things that you know you like and you can come back to on hand at all times. Unmatched, unmatched, literally nothing better. Tonight we're gonna make just a very simple, quick and easy din. I'm making a teriyaki salmon and the marinade is just super simple. I have it in the bowl right now face down, just kind of marinating and it is just this teriyaki sauce I bought today. It is the coconut aminos teriyaki sauce, so it's gluten-free, and it just has a little bit of better ingredients, soy-free, not as much uh, sodium, and I just think it tastes really nice. So I like to add this. I add a little bit of sesame oil for the nice flavor, and then just some garlic powder and pepper. Super yum, super easy. And then my favorite way to cook salmon is to put on the pan, put it in the oven at 400 for about 10 minutes-ish, and then putting it on high broil for another like four to five. Always turns out so yummy, like a little crispy on the outside, flavorful and juicy on the inside. And this just goes to show that if you have just like a few good, simple like sauces or ingredients like soy sauce or teriyaki or just some sort of sauce, like you really only need one or two, you can get a really good marinade. Like you don't need a ton of ingredients. Pro tip, I literally just put on my bala bangles right now. <laughs> Cause I'm like, you know what? While I'm cooking, why not get some booty exercises in? You know what I'm saying? Like waiting for the salmon to cook and marinate. Might as well do some squats and <laughs> some booty stuff. I didn't go to the gym today, so let's get a quick workout in. 
while we cook. <laughs> Why not? So something I always love having on hand is some sort of washed mixed green. So whether that's like romaine or spinach or like a spring mix like this one. I think it's just so helpful to have something that you can just throw into a bowl. You don't have to worry about washing it. Cause here's the thing with eating healthy. You wanna put as a little like barriers to enter, I guess is the best way I can describe it as possible. So if that means like pre-washing stuff or pre-cutting stuff or buying things that are already pre-washed and pre-cut, that means you're gonna be so much more likely to eat it. Even in the times that you're like feeling lazy and you're like, ah, I don't know if I want, what I wanna eat, I don't feel like making anything. I'm just like, boom, I have some lettuce right here. I have a few veggies, like just gonna chop up some cucumber and tomato and green onion, throw that salmon on top. And it's literally taking me a total of what? 15 minutes, if that. I just feel like a lot of the time, myself included, we can make excuses for, you know, not eating at home or whatever the case may be. Like one of my big goals right now is to eat at home more. And I feel like I've just gotten lazy and I will just like go to Erewhon and get a combo plate or I'll just like order Uber Eats. And I just don't wanna be doing that anymore. Like I know I feel better mentally and physically and my wallet feels better too <laughs> when I'm eating at home. And so this is not just a video for you guys, but a video reminder for myself that eating healthy and eating at home can be so easy if you just let it be. Boom. Another tip I have for you guys when it comes to eating healthy is having like staple things and meals that you know you can always come back to when you're not feeling like energized or motivated to really make a crazy thing. So for example, this miso dressing. This is something that I know I can always come back to and it's like my staple. This miso dressing is fire. I can put it on anything and any meal will taste amazing. This salad, gonna be amazing because of this miso dressing. A bowl I wanna make, miso dressing. Boom. It could be like any sauce, any staple, like something that you know can like, you can throw a bunch of stuff in a bowl, add this sauce, and it's gonna be amazing. So having like a staple like this, I feel like also certain hummuses or dips can do it for me. Other sauces like bitchin' sauce is really good. I don't know, it really just depends. It can be like anything. It could be like a, a ranch style, a tahini dressing, so many different things. So having a staple product sauce that brings it all together, makes it all taste really yummy. And also like I was saying, don't mind me doing my leg exercises, boom. It's a staple meal. Like what are like one or two really good staple meals you know you can come back to? So like for me, when I was grocery shopping this week, I was thinking about like a buffalo chickpea recipe. That's why I got some tortillas, some chickpeas, you know, that good stuff. Or like um, a mushroom taco or a salad, which is why I bought like some quick salad ingredients. And then for breakfast, just having like eggs, avocado, bread on hand. I had bought bread the other day from Erewhon. Um, having those things on hand, like know your staple meals. What's a staple breakfast? What's a staple lunch? What's a staple dinner? And if you don't know one, experiment until you find one that you like, that you know, like, eh, I can always come back to it, even if I'm not feeling like, I don't really know what to make. Like, you know that feeling when you're like, ah, I don't really know what to make, I don't know what to eat right now? Find those staple meals, because you can always make that. For me right now, that looks like toast. Like, I swear I can always eat toast and avocado and like toast and eggs any time of the day if I don't know what to make and I don't know what to eat. Toast I can always come back to, some sort of bowl or salad, which is why I bought the miso, and then some sort of wrap, like chickpeas, tacos, stuff like that. And since I feel like this is literally my most asked question ever, I thought I'd just show you guys. This was the gluten-free bread that I bought from Erewhon. It's Young Cobra's gluten-free sourdough bread. I love sourdough because it's easier to digest on the belly better for your gut health and this brand's really good. You can order it online if you don't live in LA. So yeah, feeling good. So I forgot to show you guys, I made my famous s'mores cookies tonight. 
These are so good. We literally already ate half, more than half of the batch. I'll have the recipe up on Insta, but you definitely need to try these and I'm definitely having one for dessert. We are gonna make some brunch. Let's get into it, ladies. Oh, by the way, I just got a haircut. So back from the hair salon. We didn't cut off too much, which is good. I wanted to keep it kind of long, but we added some more layers in face frame for some more dimension. So we'll see. I'm like thinking about maybe dyeing my hair lighter again, which is crazy. I haven't done that in forever. So let me know if I should keep it dark or go light. Anyways, simple meals. Let's get into it. Eating healthy doesn't have to be hard. We got my eggs. Vital Farms, favorite brand of eggs. Organic, usually I like to get eggs from the farmer's market, but if not, at Whole Foods, these will do. I'm gonna make just like a quick little omelet. So I haven't made an omelet in a while, but it's such a good way to just sneak in some veggies in the morning, breakfast, lunch. So I have mushrooms and an onion, chop that up. Got my avocado. Let's whip it together. My parents don't live in LA, if you didn't know. They're in Chicago, I'm originally from Chicago. Um, so I'm so excited. They should be landing like any minute now. And then once my sister's gonna get them from the airport, I think we're just gonna hang out today. I don't really know. Probably go out to dinner with my sister and her boyfriend. Maybe go for a walk now that it's not raining anymore. So I'm just excited. By the way, we just got in these new knives from Our Place. Chef's kiss, Our Place has been killing it. They also sent their new Always pan, and I'm loving it. Product. We, the omelet kind of broke a little bit, but I used a few eggs and mushrooms and onions with some avocado and toast. And it's such an easy, yummy, healthy meal. I also love that this meal has a balance of protein from the eggs, healthy fats from the eggs and the avocado and carbs from the bread. I already ate half of it, but you have fiber from the veggies and the avocado as well. So it's such a balanced meal to help keep your blood sugar balanced and make you feel good. I'm here at Tartine with my dad and my mom. They're here visiting just for a few days. And we got one of my most favorite breakfasts. You guys love tartine. Oh my God, it's so good. Yeah, well, let me show you guys. I get their omelet with their extra greens and my parents get the toast because it is so good. And it's in such a cute like little courtyard area. 